Howdy, 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 my friends. Zachariah Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you something really cool that I just discovered thanks to user Nary Juman, who has uh, found a way to make particle models cast shadows. Uh, if you're not sure why this is awesome, um, you'll know I've done the uh, spherical planet thing a couple of times. I did the tutorial recently. If any of you actually bothered to uh, try that tutorial, you might have stumbled across a problem that I know at least a couple people found, where lighting this large grass particle is a real bitch, because um, as you quickly find, whenever you use a particle uh, that uses models for its renderer, those models can accept lights very easily, uh, but they will quickly um, break down and not cast shadows. Hang on. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, so. Yeah, as I was saying, um, we can build particle effects out of models, uh, but they won't necessarily cast shadows by default. Uh, as I mentioned before last night, Neri found an awesome property within materials, which allows us to bypass that. So as you can see here, I have a, whoops, not that. I have a uh, material already built, which will uh, give us the exact effect that we want. Um, and I will post that in the link, or in the description of this video and you can download it and do some cool shit. Um, so yeah, as you can see we have our, our grass sphere here and I can easily demonstrate that uh, it receives shadows just fine but it does not cast them. Like all these mushrooms that I've added here, uh, they just kind of look look bland and bad. Um, we can look at it without lighting and, and you know there it is but yeah. So it's it's, it sucks, but we can fix it. So if I go into my uh, particle editor tool and I select the top level particle from my grass uh, sphere, I can quickly go in and under the system properties, I can go to the material for this model and I can assign that material that I, I mentioned earlier, which I'm calling model, whoops, shadow. So now that I've added that, I can just drop right back into Source Filmmaker and you will see that something magical has happened. <gasps> Shadows. Awesome. So yeah, it's as simple as adding a material onto your particle. It's, it's really quick, uh, easy. Um, there's a couple of things I've noticed here. If there isn't a regular model in the scene as well, um, so you notice I have this spy hanging out in front of this sphere. If there isn't a regular model, it seems like the shadows will not ca uh, p kick in. As you can see, I can I can pull it away and the lighting will disappear, but I can put him back into the scene and it's fine. I'm just going to stick that spy, um, you know, somewhere where he's not super in the way. Uh, unfortunately, I can't make him invisible because that will crash my Source Filmmaker. Uh, don't do that. Um, but this is a major step up from where this this tech was uh, two days ago. So check, yeah, I can I can do some cool stuff now. I can prove that uh, it's actually oh that didn't work. I can prove that things are actually shadowing correctly. Uh, so you can see as the as the thing moves, the shadows uh, inch along the sphere itself. I can move the lights around. Um, it's pretty much awesomely just as simple as uh, adding that particular material so yeah that's some pretty cool shit I'm really excited to use this stuff anyway uh, take it easy this has been another quick tutorial